Hello and welcome to another Django for Everybody walkthrough. Uh, this walkthrough is uh, the uh, 04 Model 1. This is a walkthrough where we're going to talk about one-to-many models. And this is a situation where you have uh, two tables and there is a one-to-many or many-to-one relationship between them. And uh, this is all in my D Django for Everybody DJ for E samples. You can track it's public. You can check it out. And it's in the tracks project. So I'm going to go into DJ4E samples, CD tracks. So here's a, an, uh, so I've got tracks. I got the tracks model, cat tracks model, models.py. So this is a model. This, we went through this in the lecture where we built this model. Um, there's an, an artist, an album, a genre. And most of these are kind of simple. These are kind of, this is, this artist is no different than a, um, the artist is no different than a, a single table, but this album is related to, and this is where this foreign key comes in that says, there's an artist field inside the album table that points to a particular artist in the artist model. Okay, so there, so the, it's the artist that belongs to this album. On delete, set null. That basically means if, if an artist gets deleted, will the album get deleted? And null equals true means that we allow this to be empty. We allow there to be an album without an artist. That's what null equals true here. On delete means if we delete an artist, do we delete all their corresponding albums or leave them? And this says if an artist gets deleted, we're going to sort of clear out the artist in the album table. Genre table, again, just has a single field. Um, and the track table has two foreign keys, the album foreign key. And what we're going to do here is if we delete on delete cascade means if uh, album gets deleted, we are going to delete all the tracks. And on delete equals set null for genre means if like a genre like rock and roll gets deleted, we're not necessarily going to delete the track. We'll just have a sort of an empty genre here. So that's what this on delete. It's, it's the on delete of an album entry or a genre entry and how it affects the track entry that we've got. Okay. So, so we've got this put together here and we are sitting in here and we've got our model. We could say Python three manage dot P Y make migrations. But since I checked this out of GitHub, this, the migrations are already in there. And then if I say Python 3 manage pi migrate, it'll actually do a bunch of work and make us a database, including all of the tables that are part of the tracks model. So now if I have a dbsqlite3, and if we were to take a quick look at that, like sqlite3 uh, db.sqlite, and we say what dot tables, We'd see there are all these tables, tracks, model, album, genre, and track. And if I say like schema, tracks, model, dot track, you'll see that it's got some indexes. It's got these things. It's, it's created a bunch of SQL that represents that model. So we'll get out of that for a bit because we're not really here to do SQL. We're here to do the object relational mapping. So. So we're going to start the Django shell. And again, some of these Django shells have different user interfaces. Some of them have uh, arrows. Um, we're, this one here has this little prompt. And so the, it's, it's a, we're running Python, basically. So we have to import our models. This tracks model.models, that is sort of in our Python. And the manage.py knows to how to set the paths up. So we're in tracks mod, we're in the tracks project and we're getting to the tracks model application dot models and we're importing four models. Now these are classes that we're now going to start making some objects. And we start by working from the the farthest out leaves of the tree and working inward. And we're going to store all these things in I'll just grab all three of these. I think it'll paste pretty nice. Yeah. So this creates a new artist in memory with the name of Led Zeppelin. And then I'm going to have this in the variable zep. And then I can send it to the database, save it, 
and say it get the ID, which was the primary key that was assigned to this, as one. Now, later I'm going to use this variable because I'm connecting models to each other. So the next thing we're going to do is, and, and the names of these variables are just variables. Sometimes I use mnemonic ones, sometimes I use silly ones. I made an artist called ABC uh, for ACDC, but the variable's ABC. Be careful, this, this is just a variable in Python that we're using. This ACDC is data we put into the, uh, if we do abc.id, oops, we get a two. Okay, so if we say, well, how many, how many artists, what's in the artist table? This at this point is just a single table thing and we can sort of see what the primary keys, those ID fields are the primary keys that were uh, assigned. And so the next thing we're gonna do, this one here is the tricky one. So we're going to create an album. Now albums have an, has an, a title, which is just a string, but it has an artist field, which is an artist. And so this is who made who, and the artist is ABC, which is this variable, right? This title could be a variable too. This variable is an artist object, right? And so we're saying connect this album to ACDC, right? That's what we're saying. When we made ACDC, we retained that object and its ID in particular, and we're going to make an album and connect it. And we have to save it, or it doesn't go in the database. And then we're going to make a Led Zeppelin IV album. And we're going to give it a title and use this variable zep, which we created up in here. And then we save that. So we've got, if we take a look now, we say what is in our album table? Album.objects.values. What's in our album table? So we type that and we see that we've got three albums. And you see this field here, artist underscore ID. That is a convention that says that's the ID key in the artist table. That's a foreign key. It's in the album table, but it points to a key in the artist table. So they name it artist underscore ID. It's a common pattern in object relational mappers. And as a matter of fact, it's common pattern for people who use SQL to use this pattern. So you, it, it just signals right away, I can look at this and know on hundreds of database tables what that means. That is, oh, that's a foreign key into the artist table just by the name of it. It's a convention that the Django object relational mapping enforces, but a lot of people follow the convention even if they're not using the Django uh, object relational mapper. But we now have two objects and they have connections into the artist table. So that this is an important this is the important part. It's the part you should understand where you're creating a foreign key but when you're doing this new album, you got to have this variable present. It's got to be there. Okay. So let's make a new genre. Let's make two genres. And again, these are just variable names. So I've saved those. I could do genre dot uh, uh, objects dot values we can see what we put in genre but that doesn't surprise us right <clears throat> okay so now we get to the the big deal right here so we are going to create the track and the track if you recall the track has two foreign keys it, both a genre and an album. So when we create our first track, the album is the variable zep4, which we made right here, and the genre is rock, which is the variable we made right here. Okay, and so that's how we indicate that the genre is rock, is rock. and we do that. The title, rating, length, and count, they're just standard fields in this. And then we say x.save, boom. And then we got these other ones, but the pattern is the same. We're going to, they're just, when we have foreign keys, we're referencing variables. 
that are themselves the right kind of object. Album equals Zep4. That's an album object. Made is an album object. Made is an album object. Met is an album object. Met, a, a genre object. And rock is a genre object. So I, I got these, you know, constructed correctly. That's why I gave them to you and didn't make you type them. And now we can take a look at all the tracks we've got. And so it's a little hard to see, but we've got a query set, which is a list. The first object is ID 1, Black Dog Rating 5, Count, Album ID, First Foreign Key, Genre ID equals 1. So those are the pointers into the primary keys of the album table and the genre table, re respectively. And if you go through this carefully, you see the second one, ID 2, Stairway to Heaven, um, ID 3, About to Rock, ID 4, Who Made Who, Rating, with an album ID of 1 and a genre ID of 2. And if you carefully get it right back, you know that the ACDC things were metal and the genre is rock. Okay? So now we have set things up, but now we can also look things up. So let's just say we're going to grab that, that one with a primary key of 1. That's going to be black dog here. Track objects get primary key of one. So that's the variable first. And I can say, first, and that tells us it's a track. If I say print first, it uses the stir method and then it gets to the black dog. Okay. Now the, the stir method, is, underscore, underscore, stir method is what decides which of these, which of these fields shows up when we print that out. That's why the stir method is important when we're defining models. Um, now we can say print first dot ID. We can say print uh, first dot length G, G, H, T. Okay, all right. Oh. Then G, T, H. Ha! Okay. But we can also print first dot genre, which is rock. We could be even more clear to say first genre name. So first genre is a genre object, and name is an attribute of the genre object. We can say print first.album.artist.name. So that says, first is this object that we've got, which is this object of black, the track Black Dog. And then album is the album associated with that track. And then artist is the artist associated with the album. And name is the attribute of the column in the artist table. Okay. And so this is, this is an object. Album is an, first is an object. Album is an object within first. And artist is an object within album. And then name is a column within artist. Okay. So I hope that that was uh, interesting to you um, so that you could see how a one-to-many uh, data model could be worked with and used in Django. Cheers. Cheers.